Great ideas run in her family. This is Carrie. Carrie Warburg Block's father started the Super Pumper convenience store chain. And in the mid-90s, a run-in on the farm with some mice encouraged her to create her own business, Earthkind. It's based on the product Fresh Cab, the first and only rodent repellent to gain EPA certification. You know, it's not a sexy business, but it's something that's very valuable to people. 50% of the world struggles with rodent issues, yet 90% of all products sold to control rodents are poisons, which are meant to kill. And there is a global need for what we do. Next year, the company estimates a 300% revenue growth. And last year, this little bag of corn cobs and essential oils surpassed $40 million in sales through retailers. One of those retailers is Riverwood RV owner Tom Freet, who not only sells the product, but uses it in his own storage sheds. Yeah, it definitely deters mice from coming in. The success of the product earned Warburg Block the North Dakota Small Business Person of the Year. And recently, Earthkind won second runner-up at the national competition in Washington, D.C. The credibility that comes with getting an award like this is really going to help in our exposure and in our ongoing um, business with government um, in the nation and outside countries. Once they see that you've received that honor, there's an immediate sense of trust. The business employs about 40 full-time people, including 15 developmentally disabled at its manufacturing facility in Faribault, Minnesota. They're interfacing in their communities. They're able to start living on their own with some supervision, and, and that's as a person that's extremely rewarding. So the big question is, what's next? You know, from where we started with nothing, I really want to want to take this and someday build it into a billion dollar company. And I think it's entirely possible. Not bad for a product created from what Warburg Block calls a blinding glimpse of the obvious. In Bismarck, I'm J.R. Havens for NBC North Dakota News.